going on everybody this is more power here welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys are having a powerful day today what we're going to be doing is we're going to go out to fernandina gen 3 dropped yesterday i tried to record but things did not work out the way i wanted to so we're going to hop out today and see if we can get some uh, gen 2 gen 3 pokemon my bad and uh hopefully we can get all three starters and uh yeah we'll talk about it when we get there So we have another new Pokemon. Um, well, not another because you haven't seen. But we um, caught three new Pokemon yesterday. And we're going to catch our fourth here today. Skitty. Which is actually one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 3. I always wanted to catch a, a Skitty when I was playing. And I'm not sure if this is a Weather Boosted Spawn. normal type. But... As you can see, we're in Fernandina Beach. Um, probably gonna go down to the beach in a minute, just because there's a new Pokedex entry. Just because um, there's a lot of people down here, and I don't like recording with a whole bunch of people. So there's the Skitty. We're gonna grab this Pokestop, and my bag's full. Somebody needs to get new brakes. Nothing new over here. We do have a legendary raid right up there in about 30 minutes. Yeah, in about 30 minutes, it's probably going to be a Groudon raid. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the beach and then try to hit that raid up. Okay, guys, so we are back, and I actually have found a Pokemon that I've really, really been looking forward to finding. And I want to evolve so, so bad because this is going to evolve into the strongest Pokemon in the game, and that's Slackoff. I loved Slackoff when I was playing Generation 3 in Ruby and Sapphire. Game was... F the this thing is amazing and I just caught it one hitter quitter with the ultra ball and got the slack off got six candies for it you know I think I forgot to put a lucky egg on to double XP for that oh wait no it was still on okay and we'll catch this you know Zatu because you know it's a rare Pokemon and we're having increased spawns throw a little pint raspberry for it got it barely those people are playing Pokemon right over there because I've seen the guy's phone. He probably just came to catch the slack off. Bang, got the Zatu. Anything else? Anything new? Oh, there's a Torchic. All right, guys, we found it. I'm not actually going to use that. I'm not taking any chances, and I'm going to Pineapp Berry because I want all the candies I can get for it. We don't get very fired mini fire type Pokemon but we got us a Torchic this actually evolves into my favorite Pokemon out of all seven or eight generations and I'm going to be very very mad if this thing runs I'm sitting in my car because it's really windy outside right now nice throw come on come on come on one two three bang got him okay sweet so that's one out of the three starters for Generation 3 that we've gotten. And another new Pokemon into the Pokedex. That's three today. Alright guys, so we actually found another new Gen 3 Pokemon. Um, I don't know if I've got a Lucky Egg on or not. Uh, so this is Makuhita 
it's one of the fighting type Pokemon in Generation 3. You find it on uh, Duford Island in the uh, in the cave where you go to find Steven to give him his mail from his uh, from his dad. That was an awful throw. There we go. Hopefully we can get him. I threw a pineapp at him. I'm throwing pineapps at everything that I see uh, that evolves in Generation 3. Got it. And got him. Got him. One hitter quitter. It's kind of, sort of. With Pokeballs that I actually hit him with. And another new entry to the Pokedex. We're racking up experience today. Trying to catch as many new Gen 3 Pokemon as we can. And uh, still nothing new. No raids going on. I don't think we're going to hit up that Groudon raid because not very many people raid out here in Fernandina Beach. Or at least that I'm coordinated with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go try and drive around and see if we can find any other new Pokemon. And we found another Gen 3 Pokemon. This actually turned out to be a better day than we had yesterday. I'm actually going to Ultra Ball it. And this one evolves, but not till Generation 4 or 5, but we're going to go ahead and catch it. This is Roselia, um, given its name because of the two uh, roses that it has for arms or hands. Got it. And then the red and blue. This evolves into Rose Raid, and then I believe in the next generation after that, it has a pre-evolved form called Budu. So we're going to catch this, uh, this Teddy Ursa so just because it's a... Um, a weather increased spawn so it's going to give us bonus um cp and that was awful and bonus god dang it let me get my uh, pocket uh pop socket might help me out a little bit better there oh well almost besides it wanted to be a little feisty little feller okay regular throw it is Bang, got the nice throw on the Teddy Ursa. Um, I'm not sure about how the evolutions work with the yeah. weather-based spawns, um, but we got him after it took me forever to try to actually do that. Let me grab that Pokestop, see, is there anything else? Nope, not anything really around here. Um, I'm probably going to go back and edit this video now, um, or at least start the edit on the video. If I see anything better, I'll, uh, I'll pop back in, but if not, uh, that'll be the end of the video. Okay, guys, so just to end this video, I'm just going to uh, talk to you guys about some things. As you can tell, I'm at my home in my studio, and I just want to talk to you guys about some, uh, some things in Generation 3. Now, we've only gotten 50 of the Pokemon, so that actually, and the way that they're spawning, they're not spawning as more frequently as when Generation 2 launched, because when Generation 2 launched, there was only one other set of Pokemon. There's only 150 set of Pokemon that were there um, when Generation 2 launched, which was 80 Pokemon added on to um, 80 plus Pokemon added on to Generation 1. So now that we have uh, 50 more adding on to that, um, it's going to be a little bit harder to come by. Now, we st we'll still have some of the more common ones like Zigzagoon, Linoon, Gulpin, things like that. Those will be really common, but the higher tier ones like the Roselia that I've seen, uh, Skitty may be uh, an uncommon Pokemon. The Slackoth is definitely going to be um, this uh, generation's, I want to say, um, Dratini and Dragonite evolution. Um, so... That's going to, um, that'll probably be a little bit more uncommon. The only Gen 3 Pokemon that I've heard is, uh, hatching out of eggs is why not? And that is the pre-evolution of Wobbuffet, um, that is a baby Pokemon, so it would be fitting for it to hatch in an egg. And then also, um, there were two new raid bosses. I'm going to throw those up here. One is, um, Absol, that is a tier 4 raid and Malwile that is a tier 2 raid and they also have these shiny variants which I'm going to pop up as well the pictures too um, so we have shiny Absol and shiny Malwile um, in raid bosses and then we also have one new legendary raid boss and that is Groudon that is the legendary that you get in Ruby um, that is the fire volcano Pokemon. So that'll be a new raid boss. I'm assuming that goes away or comes in when Ho-Oh goes away. 
but I'm not 100% sure. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, that's actually going to do it today uh, for this video. I want to save some stuff for next week. We're going to do these once a week. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like. Let me know what your favorite Gen 3 Pokemon is. Oh, earlier in the clip, I was saying um, Torchic Evolves into my favorite Pokemon. That's uh, Blaziken. I loved Blaziken. That's my favorite Pokemon. So tell me what yours is in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video.